So, Coach Monken, you, this is obviously not your only stop of your your illustrious coaching career. Um, so, can you put in perspective the difference it requires in a player to play for Army than other places that you've been, and what they do throughout the week, throughout the year, that that places potentially other things on their plate that other collegiate football players don't have. Oh, certainly the experience here is unique. Um, and, and I, I think every college football player's journey and experience at their respective school is different. And, and everybody that plays at, at each of the universities we see uh, on Saturday afternoons, their, their experiences, guys on the same team don't, don't go through the same things every day. They don't have the same major, the same uh, academic regimen. And, and, and that's, that's certainly the case here. But what our guys do is very unique. Um, just the the requirements academically uh there you know we don't ever have a guy that gets to his senior year and he's got all of his credits done and he takes six hours because that's you know that's all he needs to graduate our guys are taking a full load of classes every semester which is anywhere between 15 and 22 hours a, a semester um they've got military requirements they're they're all part of a company within the united states corps of cadets and so they've got obligations to, to serve their company and, and duties that they, that they uh, are, are obligated to every day. And that's part of the leadership experience is part of the, the, uh, the development of each of these guys uh, as leaders and, and future army officers. So along with that, they're, they're, you know, FBS football players and we demand a lot of our guys Our our hours here aren't any different uh, in our building than a typical FBS football player, you know, meetings and, and, uh, workouts and practice and film and all those things. So our guys do a great job of handling it. You know, they've, they've, they've got a real balancing act on their hands, uh, probably not enough hours in the day to, to do everything that they, they have to do, but they, they manage to get it done. And, and, uh, that makes me particularly proud to see them having the success that they are, because of all that they 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 are responsible for every day. And what about you? What do you like coaching about at Army that's different from other stops or requires whatever a certain difference in you, Coach Monken? Uh, I, I I love coaching and I love football. I, I was a coach's kid. My dad was my high school coach, and so I, I come from a coaching family. I never wanted to do anything else. So people, I think. Uh, kind of say off the cuff that, um, you know, how you doing? I'm living the dream. I'm, I'm actually living my dream. I, I love coaching. Uh, and I, and I love this sport and what it teaches people. And, but I love coaching at army. These are incredible young men and women here. And, you know, we, we are, we are in a society that, that really, uh, encourages people to look out for themselves, um, to, to maybe, uh, you know, step on somebody else's toes if it means you're going to succeed, and and you know that 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 that's fed to our players and our our students here their whole lives through social media and 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 other ways to 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 give that message to them. But you know, they, the the world has an 18 year head start on on all the students that come here, but. Over the course of the four years that they're here, the development uh, that that happens for them as leaders, and and to come from a society that that tells them they should that tells these young men and women that they should look out for themselves, yet they pledge a commitment to serve our nation and serve people that uh, that that they'll never meet um, a constitution that they didn't write. Uh, and a flag that that represents all of us, not just those that serve. I mean, it's 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 humbling to be around servant leaders like like they are, and and uh, and the people that are here to to train, educate, train, and inspire them to to become leaders of character in our army. So, and you know, one of the reasons I wanted to come here was that I, I knew my influence as a leader would extend well beyond our locker room, and that. Our, our players would uh, lead their soldiers the same way that they're taught here. So it's a tremendous sense of responsibility. And I never served in the army uh, or in the military, but 
you know, in, in my own way, this is my opportunity to serve. And, and uh, it's just an honor and a privilege to do that and to be at an incredible institution like West Point. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.